So start by creating the design or the shape that you want to add gradient in. So just to show you guys, I'm creating a circle right here. Like this. And I'm just filling it in with the same color. Now, once you have your object or shape ready, create a new layer. And here we are gonna work with the gradient. Now, once you have your layer, just select the color that you want the gradient to be. And then select the selection tool, uh, right this. And then now you can choose anything from these options like rectangle, freehand, anything that you want. But I'm, for now, I'm just choosing rectangle and then I'm just filling it in with the color I want. Then just choose Gaussian blur and just blur it out blur the object out using that tool now it's up to you how much you want the blur to be so it's totally up to you so once the blur is done you can actually resize that shape that blurred part according to your design so that's the best part I think so here I'm just kind of resizing it and I'm just rubbing it rubbing the extra part of it so now I'm kind of adding some highlights so it's it looks like a ball it looks like I'm adding shade depth and adding highlights to it but that's not it I'm just showing you guys how to add gradient so I'm choosing a lighter color right now and I'm just gonna go just gonna do the same thing and this time I chose um, the circle and now I'm just gonna blur it off again and I'm gonna again resize it according to my shape and I'm gonna erase the axis off so that's how you add gradients in Procreate as Procreate does not have any gradient tool yet so this is kind of like a trick or a hack that you can use to add gradient. Now you can use this trick not only for gradients but also if you want to add some shadows or highlights to any of your paintings you can use the same trick and it will work wonders. If you struggle with the blend tool or if you struggle with uh, blending colors together then this might help you right in like adding shadows or highlights to any of your designs but still if you want to learn how the blend tool works or how to blend two colors together then i do have a video on that too where i explain step by step that how the blend tool works and how you can blend two colors together so i'll link that video down below do check that out and I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and please please do subscribe to my channel and support my channel and I'll see you guys the next time